Blood mess. Can't wait for this one. Oh, we turn our attention from the NFC South to the NFC East, where the division-leading commanders for the Catbird seat, and they face the Giants at MetLife Stadium. And we are thrilled to welcome in this guy, our guy, London Fletcher, live across from us at the Hudson. And London, let's start first with last Sunday. I mean, you're up in the commander's radio booth. You're calling the action. That was as incredible a moment as we've seen in a very long time. Oh, absolutely, Adam. That was that was the most iconic play that I can remember for this franchise since I've been associated either as a player, as a broadcaster, former player. Just an unreal moment, a surreal moment. And as you saw watching my call that went viral, myself and Brad Weinstein, my broadcast partner, I just couldn't help myself, couldn't control it. It was almost like slow motion. Once I saw Jaden throw the football and I saw a tip, I knew right away that there was nobody boxing out, boxing out Noah Brown, and he was going to catch it. And as you can see, I, I didn't wait. I stepped on Bram's call and just uh, utter chaos, utter, as, as Bram said, mayhem in Washington. What an unbelievable feeling. Sorry, by the way, Kyle, we had to do it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> London, you played linebacker until you were 30 eight years old. So can you please put into context how impressive the career of 34 year old Bobby Wagner has been? Yeah, he's been as advertised. One thing that you Fox. knew we were getting CBS. when Bobby came over here, uh, a lot of people talked about his, his leadership quality. CBS. He's going to be his first ballot Hall of Famer with, with his resume and all the you know first team all pros and pro that he's been, been able to do. But the thing about Bobby is he's still playing at an extremely high level. So not only is he, does he provide, provide great leadership, but the playmaking ability. Last week was a master class at how you conduct a defense from the middle linebacker position. The Bears, they were coming out with a lot of uh, formations, empty formations and things like that. And Bobby would make their, their the Washington Commanders check to an empty formation. Then they'd motion back to another formation. Bobby would, would check to a, a new, another defense. And it was a master class because he got everybody on the same, same page. There was not a single miscommunication. From a defensive standpoint, he's like truly having a coach on the field. So you just said it right there, London. And by the way, it's great to see it. And I hated what I saw from the commanders, but I love seeing <laughs> you do what you do in the booth. You sound awesome. You look great. When I think about this linebackers, this linebacking core and this Washington defense, they've played above expectation this whole year. It's Dan Quinn's system. It's buying into that. How hard w would it be to go in there and play that linebacker position? Bobby Wagner, obviously a future Hall of Famer, but they're getting production from both those guys at the linebacker position. Right, what I love about this system and what great coaches do, and, and Joe Witt Jr., who's the defense coordinator here, first, uh, first time defense coordinator, he talks about having – choosing players over plays. And he's going to put his players in the best position to exceed And Frankie Lubu, who uh, came over here from the Carolina Panthers, not a lot of people knew about him. They used Frank, Frankie in a role similar that they used uh, Michael Parsons in and Dallas. And no, they're not the same players per se, but they're getting uh, great productivity out of, out of Frankie. He's a great blitzer, excellent at rushing the, the quarterback off the edge. And also... They're utilizing Bobby's strength as a blitzer. He's been, these, those guys are doing a great job putting tr tremendous amount of pressure on the quarterback through, through cross dogs and things like that. But even on the back end, the, the communication and what they're asking this young secondary to do has been on point. I think Joe Wood Jr. has done an outstanding job with this, with this defensive unit. There's really a bunch of guys that have come together, not a lot of holdovers from a, from a defense last year. London. You're the best. It's like riding a bike. This is great. Great having you with us as always. Fletch. Ladies and gentlemen, London yeah. Fletcher, that's our guy. Yeah. Coming up next, are the Chargers ready to unleash Justin Herbert in the dog pound?